This is going to be a fun week, you guys. It's truck week, all week long, all new trucks, everything I could find, and this is what I found when I first pulled into the parking lot, getting ready to go out and check the show. on the radar screen they're not even calling they hit a 10 percent chance of rain all right guys i'm gonna jump in here because we got a fun jam-packed week of all the newest trucks coming down the pipeline in 2022 the new stuff coming in 2023 tomorrow we're going to be looking at the ford i think it's called lightning pure electric truck ford super duties the next day i think we've got uh um, oh, we also got Chevy tomorrow. Uh, the next day, I think we got a G one of the days we got a GMC Denali work truck. Then we're going into the tiny trucks. We got um, Nissan and we've got uh, a Hyundai Santa Cruz. I mean, look, I, lo I went to a show and I looked for every truck that could make you guys a living. I didn't care if it was big or little. If it helped make you guys a living in some way, shape or form, I count it as a work truck. And this entire week, Monday through Friday, we're having full length videos is sponsored by Jobber. Jobber helped me put this together and Jobber is a software system that we personally use. Jobber is phenomenal. I'm not supposed to say this next part, but it's kind of like the apple of uh, soft software because it's just so intuitive and easy. You just kind of pick it up and the learning curve is about 30 minutes and you're in business. And it does scheduling, it does invoicing, it does um, the scheduling feature I do wanna go into for just a moment. The scheduling feature alone is worth the price of admission. Because if you're like me, I get a lot of big jobs where they take me three days, maybe 30 days, but sometimes a three day job takes me four days and what Jobber scheduling system does is it adjusts all of the projects for you intuitively and easily. You're not going in there manually adjusting them and manually doing this. If your job gets bigger or smaller, you just put it into the scheduler and it, it changes the schedule for all of your jobs. And then they've got it dialed in so easy that even my guys Blaine and Alex are already picking it up and using it. So they can look at the same schedule that Timmy back in the office is. I could go on for a long time. There's a, really a lot of good benefits to Jobber, but one of the best benefits is even the pricing structure is flexible. You don't have to dive in and get it in over your head and spend a ton of money that you don't have. You can kind of dip your toes in the water and try it out and then you can amp it up or amp it down or do whatever you want with it. Jobber is just good stuff. I mean, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I firmly believe in it and I really hope that you guys check it out because these guys are helping all of us out because they, they come to me and they're like, hey, what, do you, what would your audience like? And I'm like, they want, it. they want information on trucks. They're like, well, let's make that happen. So they help me make these videos happen for you guys. So do me a favor and check them out. But today we're gonna be heading in and checking out Toyota Tundras. And I think the TRD, Toyota Racing Development. That's what the D stands for or something like that. Anyway, I'm done talking. Let's get, to, let's get into the show. All right, guys, I'm with Allie. And the first thing we're gonna be looking at and talking about is Toyota as a work truck, right? Because we know about Chevy, GMC, Ford, Ram, 
but some guys are using these as legitimate work trucks. Allie, can you just walk us through what we should expect? Yeah, okay. um, I'm the, so we can talk a little bit about the Tundra. So the Toyota Tundra, it's our largest, uh, pick up, or our largest pickup truck. Uh, the Tundra has been redesigned, so it's brand new for 2022, uh, redesigned from the ground up. You're on a brand new frame, the whole deal. Um, we'll talk a little bit about this. So the, there's a number of different trims that are gonna be available in this, um, but this Tundra specifically is our gas model. So then there, you're gonna have two different engine models available now. One is okay. called the iForce and one is called the iForce Max. Now your iForce is gonna be our gas engine, which is a 3.5 liter V6 engine, twin turbo. Uh, you're gonna get some great power. And we've actually increased our towing capacity as well, up to 12,000 pounds of towing in the iForce. Now in our iForce Max, which is a brand new engine, it's actually a hybrid engine, believe it or not. So that's kind of the biggest thing. It's gonna give you even more power. So it's still that 3.5 liter V6 engine, but you're gonna get some pretty great numbers, like a 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque. Um, and then as well to you know great numbers as far as towing and everything um, but there's a number of trims that give you more availability based on maybe what your needs might be now in terms of a work truck um, I mean I feel like there's a Tundra kind of specifically for everyone you know whether you need different uh, cab sizes whether you need different bed links as well something else that's really neat that a lot of people are very very hyped about is that this is our crew max cab size so this large cab right here okay. um, is called a crew max now before you could only get this five and a half foot bed on the crew max cab okay. now moving forward with this new redesign you can actually get you have the option to get a six and a half foot bed in this same cab size okay. so that's um something that i think a lot of people are really excited about um, in terms of convenience and everything we have some great options as well we're uh, actually uh this i can't pop down right now because i have it unplugged but this if you touch this it would actually pop down the latch and then a step would also come down so uh, it makes it a little bit easier to get up into the truck and things like that. Um, actually, if we walk over to this one, you can see at least where that step lives, which is gonna be tucked up right up here. So automatically that would drop down by just hitting this button right here. So maybe your hands are full, whatever the case may be, you can just touch this with your elbow. The, tail, uh, the tailgate will pop down as well as that step. Okay, okay. What else should we know about these trucks that are new? Well, I think something else that's pretty neat is our TRD um, Pro package. We don't have a TRD Pro package that's here, but as you can see, we have obviously this TRD package uh, that's going to be available. There's a number of different options. Now, when you get into our TRD Pro and our TRD Off-Road and all these different series, you're going to have a number of options as far as, you know, performance, handling, uh, wheel sizes. On our TRD Pro, you also get enhanced and upgraded. Uh, you get Fox Performance shocks uh, that are going to give you some, you know, great handling, uh, as well as a little bit of lift on that as well. So there's a, a number of options, whether you're hauling a trailer, um, whether you need this, you know, for a payload purpose and, you know, need a lot of cargo space, whatever the case may be, there's going to be a Tundra for everyone. Can we, are, are any of these open that we could yeah, take we a can, look inside yeah, one we'll of them? Inside. Which one do you want to look at, Allie? You know what? Well, this is, this one right here is actually going to be our SR5 Crew Max five and a half foot bed, but it has a TRD package on it. This is pretty neat um, and kind of is kind of, you know, an entry level, but with a little bit of an enhanced package. So let's hop in this one. Is this display? So this is, you're going to find, this is uh, one of our largest displays. Yeah, so 14 inches uh, touchscreen display. Um, I mean, you're going to be able to do all sorts of things on here. Um, what is cool, that since this does have one of our TRD packages on it, you're going to notice obviously some of these, you know, extra little emblems in that push to start button. That's new for our TRD package as well. Okay. Um, just some extra little accessories and things like that. So whenever you add a TRD package, uh, you're going to usually have something that stands out and as far as being a little bit sporty. Um, but overall, I mean, the Tundra, you've gained a lot more space inside here. I mean, it feels I'm sure you, you feel pretty comfortable. I feel like here. I'm in a full size pickup yeah. truck at this point. What What is this equivalent to as far as like a half ton or three quarter ton or something that we're more familiar with, you know? In terms I don't of know. size, I would yeah. say probably a Silverado in uh, terms of size. Like a, yeah. like a half ton, you mean? Yeah. So what does um, TRD stand for? Toyota Racing Development. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Toyota Racing Development. And that's where you'll notice a lot of those different packages and that's where they come from. It's a, you know, a racing department. They're usually race inspired, sporting inspired, all built and handled and developed in our TRD factory. So, okay. um, you know, TRD makes a number of accessories for so many different vehicles, which is pretty neat. And it's, you know, think sporty, being built to off road, all those good things. And the box configurations, what do, what do we have for options? I know you, you breezed through them real quick, but 
as I'm looking in here, I'm looking for, you know, what, I mean, besides all of the hail that we just got done hit, get, getting hit with. As far as different hook options and yeah, stuff? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at, you know, do we have a plug-in in the back? What do we've got, go, what do we you have? Do, yeah, actually. So you'll notice you actually have power back here. So you have a 120 volt. Okay. Obviously, you have all your hooks and everything. Um, this is, uh, our beds are made of sheet mold composite. So um, these are very, very durable. You, you know, no, most people want to do like a spray in liner after the fact, but this is already going to be included. So. Okay, so that's a standard option on these? It's standard, okay. yes. And then you have a new SUV out. We do, actually. Brand, yeah, and it's, it's brand, brand spanking new this It is, year. yeah. So for okay. so the, the Tundra is actually on the same platform as our one of our largest SUVs, or which is the Sequoia. Uh, so the Sequoia was just redesigned. This is technically a 2023 model, um, but this one, yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good. So this is our Platinum model, which is kind of one of the highest grades that you can get. Also an available trim that's in the Tundra too. They share a lot of similarities because they're literally on the same platform. So uh, something pretty neat uh, for this one is you'll notice this badging right here, the iForce Max. Mm. That same badging was on that Tundra too because it shares that same engine, but this is gonna be a standard hybrid. So when you see iForce Max, that means it's gonna have that standard hybrid engine. So you're that same 3.5 liter V6 twin turbo, same horsepower and everything, um, which was that 437 and then 583 pound feet of torque. But um, you're gonna be able to tow now to have increased it. It's almost 21% of an increase of towing capacity. So that you're looking at up to 9,000 pounds now in the Sequoia. A 21% increase. That's no minor jump. No, it's not. In performance. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's it's increased a, it, it, quite a bit. So. And um, this model will be available 2023. Uh, this is a 2023 model. Yep. And then the the other trucks that we were talking about. Those these are 2022. So the gas models of the Tundra, those are already at dealerships now. Um, and then the hybrid models will be hitting dealerships very, very soon. So they're expected spring, which is right around now. So hopefully tell me exactly what you mean by the hybrid model, though, if you don't mean what is the hybrid part of it? Is it a so it's a hybrid engine. So, you know, just like we have our smaller vehicles, like, you know, the RAV4 hybrid, you can think improved fuel economy, right? Because right now I feel like that is obviously super important. Uh, but right now Toyota is on a mission to become um, electrified. Now we're gonna have 70 electrified vehicles in our lineup by 2025. Now the hybrids and all these different things, they fall under that electrified category. Now it's not a fully electric vehicle, but what, we're, what Toyota really is pushing with the new Tundra is that we wanna show that basically, you know what, hybrid engines, they're just as powerful, if not even more powerful than what some of these gas models are. Okay, well, Allie, thank you. You're welcome. Very much. No problem. Much appreciated. Hey guys, that's the Toyota. So let's go hit the next booth. <laughs>